right, let's see what Ezra Miller's up to now. Ezra Miller charged with felony burglary, breaking into somebody's house and stealing liquor, even though he's totally rich and could buy it himself. And they're still gonna make the Flash movie? Yep, that's right, we're making another Ezra Miller video because I hate myself. And today, we have a new interesting development in the story, in the case, in the memoir of Ezra Miller's slowly unraveling career and psyche. I've gone through a journey in this series. First, it was just kind of morbid curiosity. Then it turned into complete hatred of this entire story and series of events. And now it's almost just like a masochistic, I don't even know what. This, this story is so fascinating and so ridiculous. I have to follow it. Star of a $200 million superhero movie franchise, slowly unravels mentally, has a alleged sex cult in Iceland, breaks into people's house to get liquor when they're not home, now being charged. There's so much to this situation. I want to see a movie about it. I want to see a movie about it, and I want Elliot Page to play Ezra Miller. It's got to be done. Come on, Warner Brothers, it's the only way to get out of this situation. You're in a bad situation. Only way to get out of it is start a movie right now. A biopic, Ezra Miller slowly unraveling, starring Elliot Page. But first, let's get into the story that we're all here to see. The Flash star Ezra Miller charged with a felony burglary in Vermont. Ezra Miller, the embattled star of Warner Brothers' The Flash movie, has been charged with felony burglary in Stamford, Vermont, according to a Vermont State Police report. According to the police report, Vermont State Police were notified of a burglary complaint from a residence in Stamford at 5.55 p.m. on May 1st. Police found that several bottles of alcohol were taken from the residence while the homeowners were not present. After collecting statements and looking at surveillance videos, police found probable cause to charge Miller with felony burglary into an unoccupied dwelling. Well, well, well. Ah, I don't I don't know how many times I got I say this during this whole process. What are you doing Ezra Miller? But I think we'll get into that a little later in the second part of the video, and it might explain a little bit why He's going a little off the deep end. Police located Miller. Well, now we can just locate Miller now. It's Miller time. It's easy to find him. Look at that. We found him all of a sudden. Police located Miller on August 7th and issued him a citation to appear in Vermont Superior Court on September 26th for arraignment. So that's the short update with him being, he's, he's charged. He is now charged with felony burglary now who even knows if he's going to actually show up to the september 26th arraignment i hope he doesn't <laughs> for my channel i hope he doesn't because that would be hilarious i hope he goes on like a trip across america doing all kinds of crazy things and he documents every second of it i hope that happens he's being charged but he's not convicted i, I do want to see that surveillance footage if they had probable cause to charge him that means that's obviously him and i want to see that screwball Bopping around, trying to break in through a window, stumbling through their living room, finding the alcohol cupboard, opening it up, taking a swig, getting some bottles. I want that whole video. Please, police, release this video for just for entertainment value. We all need a pick me up, okay? The president's house was being swatted by the friggin' FBI, all right? China's probably setting up some kind of World War III event pretty soon. We need a pick me up. And that video of Ezra Miller wobbling his ass around. I need it. I need it. If you've been trying to gather information about the Ezra Miller case, it's both feast and famine. There's a lot of articles going over every little detail, but there are also a lot of repeated articles that just go over the same stuff over and over. Even that last article we just went through with the charges, it repeats everything over again business insider came out with this article last week i didn't want to do a video on it because i ended up reading it and it was it was mostly just kind of repeated information but there's a few little tidbits in here where you get a better idea of what is going on or what was going on in iceland with the sex cult ezra miller's unraveling friends fear the flash actor has lost touch with reality as miller travels the u.s in body armor and faces new claims of running a cult in Iceland. So aside from all of the repeated information that this article goes through, because it's a very long article, so I'm just gonna pull out a few things 
that give us an idea of both Ezra Miller's mental state and what some people that knew him before he was famous think of him and kind of their concern about where he's going and what he did in Iceland with this weird sex cult that he formed. Miller grew up steeped in the arts. His father, Robert Miller, is a book publisher and former vice president of Hyperion Books. And his mother, Marta Miller, is a modern dancer. Well, I think we can understand where maybe some of his problems lie. Artists. Marta often brought Miller to the family's country house in Vermont, where she opened a dancer's and artist residency. Now, yeah, see here, we're already setting up this strange artist, bohemian, hippie kind of vibe, and it's, uh, it's, we'll see where it goes. In 2020, when filming for the Harry Potter spinoff halted because of COVID-19, Miller headed to Iceland. Miller's presence was poorly received by some Icelanders who said the actor was aggressive and emitted a putrid stench. <laughs> the actor who rarely changed out of the same loosely fitting bohemian clothes strolled the frigid streets barefoot, revealing long pointy toenails and what looked like an infected gash on one foot, three people said. One person recalled seeing Miller walking around mumbling. All the people inside of Ezra Miller's head Hopefully one of them can take him to a psychiatric facility to get him evaluated and taken care of. Because mumbling through the streets barefoot in a frigid environment like Iceland with a gash on your foot, that's homeless guy behavior, okay? That's like eating out of a trash can behavior. What are you doing? That's my catchphrase for this Ezra Miller series. What are you doing, Ezra Miller? I think, you know, for me, the times we live in are sort of a choose your own adventure of mental illness. People think we're crazy and they're right. So that's not a misconception. Ezra Miller traveled everywhere with his assistant and spiritual advisor, Jasper Youngbear, who told locals he cut off at least one of his own fingers during a ritual ceremony. Now, this is a spiritual guide that Ezra Miller I guess travels with sounds like a level-headed guy let's take a look at his uh, writings the sacred center Jasper young bear often people think this is a quaint little story but it's not it's a sacred truth and at its center is the most crucial concept that you are the universe that everything the creator went through, you've gone through too. Most people struggle with this. Most aren't ready to accept that they are the sacred center. But it is important shift to what's called whole to part thinking. Where all of the dichotomies of the universe are cast aside. Where there is no male or female, no black or white, no political divide. Where you use whole to part thinking, the sense of self is much deeper, more expensive. In our sacred ceremonies, we play this out starting as a baby. When we get an Indian name in this ceremony, they put us in the center of the universe and have us turn to face all directions. When we get named, we are the light. We are the beginning. We are one with time and space. We go forth and we vibrate with our names, attracting what others have installed, attracting what is already inside of us. A lot of things are falling into place. A lot of things are making sense, understanding why a person might be self-centered whenever their spiritual guide is a person that touts the idea that they are the center of the universe and everything revolves around them. There's no male or female. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's go. Let's continue. Let's now let's get back to the article at hand. For most of his time in Iceland, Miller rented a sprawling modern Airbnb. He filled the house with a menagerie of Icelandic artists, expats, and spiritual confidants 
whom he engaged to stay there, even though many of them had their own homes. One woman who visited the house for a day in March of 2020 recalled several mattresses spread out on the floor and compared the house to a commune. She was struck by how enamored guests seemed to be of Miller, hanging on his every word and seeming unfazed by Miller's mood swings. I felt like everyone was hypnotized, she said. Nobody was ever kind of allowed to disagree with him, recalled a young woman who said she had a brief sexual relationship with Miller in Iceland when she was 18. Getting close there, buddy. A 23-year-old woman who visited the house twice said she witnessed Miller fly into a rage when a group of friends tried to pick which song to play over the sound system. He snapped from being a friendly host to being this really angry person. And the, the previous spiritual guide makes a lot of sense. From birth, it seems that he was in this world of me, 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 take care of me, I'm self-centered. Then he found people like Jasper Young Bear to literally give him a religion that focuses everybody's attention onto him. And then he went out and just did more of that. He's sucking up all of these young fans of his and ha giving them gifts, paying food, giving them housing, being very kind and, and generous, but at the same time, pressuring them into situations that they're not necessarily wanting to be in and not letting them leave situations that they don't necessarily want to be in. There's a word for this that I can't say anymore because they're removing people for saying that word. Drew Hernandez, six videos taken from his channel. So not everybody that has interactions with Ezra Miller, it's not all negative. Some people come out saying that he was very nice to them, I've actually had somebody like reach out and comment in one of the videos saying that they were a bartender in Oklahoma and he came through and he was very kind and, and nice. But there's several other stories of people saying that he was that way. He's very nice until you get into his sphere. And then whenever you're inside of his sphere, he has power over you in some way and he kind of controls you. But there's some people that do say he's very kind to them. My point is, is that I don't think Ezra Miller is evil. I think he is misguided. He's not had an actual responsible role model, it seems, in his life to guide him in the right direction. He became massively famous at a young age with a very bad structure around him, it seems, that only indulges in his narcissistic kind of mental illness. Now that it's so far down the line, he's so entitled that he thinks he can climb into somebody's house and take their liquor and not have anything happen to him now they're grieving for him. That's the person that I'm grieving for now, the longtime family friend said. He was always kind of different from other people his age, but not scary. We were really, really good friends. It's really sad. So that is sad. It's sad that this person has been given so much power just by fame and notoriety, and nobody's been checking him. Nobody's been saying, hey, don't do this. It's not okay to do this. He's just living in this hippy dippy commune world where he thinks everything is his and he's the center of the world and nobody can can talk against him I, anyways it is very legitimately sad that it's gotten to this point but he is an adult and he's doing fuckery shit thank you for watching the video this long like share subscribe i also would like to let you know that down below i have a p.o box so if you want to send me any letters i will take them and i will read them on stream live thank you see you later god help us all Thank you, channel members! That's right, you channel members help the channel continue to grow, and I can get better equipment. I just upgraded my lights, so I hope that looks good. And I'm gonna upgrade a couple more things on the docket, and I might be working on a little project, a little inspired project, the great Eric July. He, he, he's gotten me inspired to, to do some stuff, so I might have some stuff on the, on the horizon. So if you like to support the channel, please become a member. We do member streams where we chill, we hang out, chat, play video games sometimes. So come and join us. Look at all these great people in the chat right now. Look, look at that. There's so many names, I had to literally split them up be behind one side and another side. Look at that, so many.
special thanks to the tip top tier of the members the top secret uber chad levels you know who you are and you know how chad you are i love every single one of you Bur burglary 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 <laughs> i should do warm-ups or something before this shit marta almost oh my god read it right oh my god you can't fucking read